第六课，我会说汉语。Lesson six. I can speak Chinese. 你好 ，Welcome to HSK Standard Course Level One. I'm Gao He. Today we're going to learn Pinyin and Chinese character part of Lesson Six. We have learned all the initials, finals, and tones. Now, can you tell me how many tones are there in Mandarin? That's right, there are four tones. Tones might be a big challenge for most of you to learn Chinese, but don't worry. We will spend a few lessons, particularly on practicing the tones. Now let's review all the four tones together. You can use gestures to help you recognizing the tones. 跟我读，说，读，写，会。Excellent. Today we're going to focus on how the first tone collocates with other tones. 跟我读，飞机，公园，机场，车站。Well done. Let's do some practice. Listen and read after me, and pay attention to the collocation of the tones. Today, 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 刮风，欢迎，经理，机会。Next one, listen to the audio and mark the words you have heard. 一，经验，经验。二，邀请，邀请。三，修理，修理。四，危险，危险。五，春天，春天。六，新年，新年。七。商人，商人。八，参观，参观。Now challenge time. Listen to the audio and add the tone marks for the following words. 一，生病，生病。二。身体，身体。三，交流，交流。四，飞机，飞机。五，方便，方便。六，超市。超市。七，安静，安静。八，刚才，刚才。Okay, that's all about today's pinyin. Now let's do some fun drawing. Today we are going to learn three new strokes. 撇折。斜钩 and T. Write with me, and please pay attention to the writing order. 撇折 You will find this stroke in the characters like 会
鞋钩 You will find this drug in the characters like 我提 This drug is commonly used in Chinese characters. You can also find it in 我 Now let's do some practice. Please find the new strokes we have just learned in the following four characters. Have you found all of them? Very good. How many new strokes have you found in 找 Bingo, two, 提 and 鞋钩 Now we know more strokes. Do you still remember the example characters? Let's have a look at them together. 东东 east. 东 is where the sun rises. The original form of 东 It's the sun hidden in bush. It indicates the sunrise. Therefore, this character means the direction of sunrise, east. Let's write it down together, and pay attention to the stroke order. The opposite direction of Dong is Xi. Xi, west. The original form of Xi is a bird nest. When it comes to sunset, all the birds fly home for rest. Therefore, this character indicates the direction of sunset, west. Let's write it down together and pay attention to the stroke order. Me, me. The original form of "wo" looks like a weapon with sharp edges. Now this character is a personal pronoun. Let's write it down together and pay attention to the writing order. Let's do some practice. Can you guess what character am I writing now? That's right. I am writing 我 Challenge time. I am going to write another character, and please tell me if the writing order is right or wrong. Is it the right order? No, it's not. Let's have a look at the right order. So far, all the Chinese characters we have learned are formed by only one part, such as 人、我。These kind of characters are called single component structure. There is another type of Chinese character, which are formed by two or more parts. For example, 你、做。They are called compound structure. Question: Is "dong" a single component structure or a compound structure? That's right. "Dong" is a single component structure character. Let's do some practice. Please pick up the characters with single component structure among the two groups. Have you found them? In the first group, 不 is a single component structure. In the second group, 中 is the right answer. 
Now let's do the second practice. Please pick up the compound structure characters from the following groups. Have you found them? In the first group, the right answer is 谢. In the second group, the right answer is 朋. Very good. Today, we have learned the collocation of the first tone with other tones. We have also learned three interesting characters and the two types of Chinese characters. Please match the strokes with the right characters. Alright, see you next time.